This video is the third in a three-part series about how to successfully set up and connect a community with the CapXM Access Control System and MyQ Business. In this part, we'll show you how to install the CapXM at the job site. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate dash a dash dealer. As you learned during the site survey and preparation, the CapXM installation requires a variety of wires, including power, relay connections, grounding, internet, and accessory cables. When you arrive at the job site, make sure these wires are available and ready for connection. Open the door and lay the CapXM face down on a flat surface with the cover hanging over the side. Use the packing material such as the box it was shipped in if that's available. Identify which knockouts need to be removed based on your application. For this installation, we'll punch four knockouts for mounting and the bottom knockouts for wiring. Use a small center punch tool and mallet to carefully tap the knockouts. Use pliers to remove the metal knockout tabs. The CAP-XM needs to be securely mounted to a flat surface or pedestal. Position the unit for mounting, pulling the wiring through the knockout. The gasket is not needed for a surface mount installation. Secure the CAP-XM to the surface using the appropriate hardware for your application. Stainless steel hardware is recommended. Use of zinc-plated or galvanized hardware is not recommended because of the risk for rusting. Connect the site's ground wire to the ground post in the CAP-XM. Proper grounding protects the CAP-XM from damaging electrical transients. Be sure to check and follow all national and local codes for proper grounding procedures. During your site survey, you confirmed availability of a dedicated 120-volt AC outlet rated for 10 amps. Identify the power wiring leading from the CAP-XM mounting location. Connect to the stripped DC output wires on the power supply. Connect the black wire on the power supply to the negative wire from the CAP-XM and the red wire on the power supply to the positive wire from the CAP-XM. Consult the manual for allowable wire run distances and recommended wire gauge. Remove the power input terminal block from the control board. Connect the power wires to the terminal block with the positive connecting to the plus terminal and the negative connecting to the minus terminal. Reattach the terminal block to the control board. Plug the power supply into the dedicated outlet after all connections have been made. The CAP-XM will boot into admin mode. Let's get the network connection set up. Tap Network. Tap Change Network Settings. You'll be prompted to select the network type. There are three options. Wi-Fi Network, Wired Network, which configures automatically, Manual setup of a wired connection. If you're connecting to a wired network for automatic configuration, or DHCP, plug in the Ethernet cable.
choose Wired Network and tap Continue. Connecting to the network may take a few moments. The network status will show connected. Tap Connect. Next, let's check the camera. On the display, press Continue to Admin. Press the Audio Video button. You will be able to see the live feed from the camera. Next, disconnect all electrical power to the CAP-XM and any powered accessories such as gate operators and door locks. Open the controller. One CAP-XM can control up to two doors. Doors are devices such as gate operators, mag locks, or door strikes. We will demonstrate connecting a device to door one. Connect the gate operator or door lock wires to the primary relay. Most applications use the normally open and common. Remove the terminal block from the primary relay of the desired door. Insert the wires from the gate operator and secure with a small screwdriver. Plug the terminal block back onto the control board. Connect the other end of the cable to the device being controlled. If using Request to Exit, connect the Request to Exit switch to the Door 1 REX connector. This feature must also be activated in the MyQ Community Web platform. To monitor the position of the gate or a door using a door status sensor, wire to the status connector. To supervise the monitored connection, you'll need to supply two 1000 ohm resistors. One will be wired in series and the other in parallel on the side of the gate operator or door. This feature must also be activated in the MyQ Community Web platform. Restore power. To exit admin mode, Flip dip switch number one to the off position on the CAP-XM control board. It's time to test the setup. Perform the same tests you did during the setup on your workbench. Test, granting access through the app. Using hold to unlock, granting access from a phone call. Using a credential such as a card. And using an entry code. Once you've confirmed everything is working, don't forget to delete your test information from the facility. The installation is complete. Be sure to set aside time to help the community manager to get up and running. For more detailed information, including wiring diagrams, please refer to the CAPXM installation manual or visit partner.liftmaster.com.